guys so I decided I wanted to go ahead and take the time today to do Janica's details video I have not had the chance to do that since she has arrived home so I wanted to go ahead and get that done today and so here we go um, Janica is by Claire Taylor she is an addition of 12 plus a couple of bonus babies so I'm not sure exactly the number that were made but she is number 10 of 12 and this baby is the second Janica that I've had so she's not the original that I had before as many of you know now because I've said it multiple times because I know a lot of people wondered if she was the same one she is not the previous one I had had much darker hair than this so anyways um, this baby has like an auburn brown hair with like a slight tint of red to it it's very pretty and Claire does an amazing job of rooting and a directionally rooted head of hair so it makes it very easy to style in a newborn type of style and Miss Janica here has newborn blue glass eyes so they're like a darker blue very accurate to um, a newborn baby which this baby to me is the depiction of exactly that a newborn baby just home from the hospital within you know <laughs> a few days I would say because um, she's got a very newborn justly just born um, shaped head and the way the forehead is not very prominent and it's just the shape the baby's head is very much that of just after being born I just remember my girls having that shape head and if you were to see the head bald before she rooted you would see all of the definition and the shape of um, when the skull shifts to pass through where it needs to go so it's very um, amazing the realistic details that she accomplished with this baby and I love her ears also reminds me of my daughter's. Claire is really infamous for, infamous? Famous, <laughs> sorry. She's famous for making these little folded over ears. And one of my daughters actually had folded over ears when she was born, so I find it very, very sweet and endearing. So, there's her little face. She's a precious little girl. I'm in love with her. So she's got that squinty-eyed, kind of goofy-looking, newborn look to her <laughs> she's not quite sure what she's looking at which is what I love about her she's got a sweet little mouth and inside her mouth she's got gums let's see if I can yeah there's her gums and I don't know if I can get no I won't be able to there's a shadow so you can't see inside her mouth but she has the uvula and the gums and the tongue and one of the most detailed mouths I've ever seen and it's so real looking it's amazing and then we have beautiful hands and I love the amount of detail that this baby's hands have I think that that is amazing the creases the little wrinkles everything about them I just think Claire does such a great job and she sculpts these hands by hand, <laughs> pun not intended, <laughs> but she just does such an amazing job when she makes and creates these babies. I'm always in awe of the talent. And it's hard to tell, depending on the lighting she's in, um, she actually has a little rib cage. You can see kind of the definition of it. Um, in different lighting, it shows up more. And of course, she has her umbilical cord stump here that is a magnet which I also think these are really cool little um, things that <laughs> come accessories that come with the baby so like what she would have looked like just after being born with the umbilical stump attached so that's really neat and then I'm not going to show you her her girly bits because people get offended on YouTube so we'll, we'll just know she's anatomically correct and done very well um, and then here's her little chubby legs so she's like like I said she's the depiction of a newborn but a healthy newborn 
Um, so she's got some, some chub to her, which I really like because my babies were not skinny babies. Probably why I like this baby. She reminds me a lot of things of my children when they were babies and just born. And her little foot. And the coloring of her feet. I mean, just everything that Claire does with these babies, I just, I don't know. I'm just amazed at how she is able to achieve the realism that she does. There's the other foot. And they're just so sweet. And I just love all the wrinkles because newborns have wrinkles. They have wrinkly little skin. It's almost like it dries out after being in the amniotic fluid or something. I don't know. But I really, really enjoy this baby. I know a lot of you realize just how much I do because I say it all the time. So I'm sorry if you get sick of hearing it. But I really, you know, unfortunately I've said this a lot of times as well, that um, Claire's babies... Um, Especially this one, I think people until they see her in person, they don't just don't photograph or video as well as they I would like her to. So it's frustrating because I wish everybody could see the amazing lifelikeness of this baby because I think they'd fall in love with her. A lot of people are like, oh, she's not kind of the doll for me, which is fine. But she's very, she's got a lot of um, character, I guess you could say. I think that she's adorable and very very sweet um and she is like i said very newborn like my babies were so there you go guys that should give you an idea of this sweet little baby a little bit more up close sorry the coloring's not the best the lighting but um i wanted to get this done so you guys could see her in her flesh i think she's spectacular one of i think it's she's still claire's best baby she's ever made i don't know in my eyes, if she'll real top it, although she's come up with some unique things um, in her new baby. So I'm, I'm once again wowed by the, the crazy stuff she comes up with. It's amazing. I love her work and I love her babies. So there we go. There's Miss Jenica. And um, yeah, I'm off to finally maybe get some Sunday chores done. But all right, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.